Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. Hello, Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. Last week we spoke about smoking. This week I'd like to continue the conversation about smoking because I had a woman ring my radio show the other week and she said to me, yeah, but doctor, I'm now in my late 50s. I've been smoking since I was 20. Am I really going to get any benefits if I stop smoking now? Well, the answer to that is absolutely. Strangely, within 20 minutes of having a cigarette, your heart rate and blood pressure come down. Within a few hours, you you've, you can actually get a bit more lung function. Your carbon monoxide levels are dropped. But within a few months, your circulation is starting to improve. So the circulation is, of course, all the blood vessels in the heart are starting to improve. Within 12 months of giving up smoking, your, your risk for a heart attack is reduced by 50% within 12 months. Now, again, things like cancer, lung cancer, the risk is always there if you've been a smoker for a long time. But the more time between you stopping and, and today, the longer the time, the longer, the lower the risk for a variety of cancers that are related to cigarettes. Now, everyone thinks about lung cancer and smoking, but there's also cancer of the upper gastrointestinal tract, cancer of the mouth, cancer of the throat, cancer of the bladder, and all of these things markedly reduce as time goes on. So if you've been smoking for, say, 20, 30 years, it, it, mean, it doesn't mean you have no risk for these diseases. But even if at age 50 or 60, you decide to stop smoking, you will get a benefit. So the, the plea I make to you, one of the most important things anyone can do for their health is to stop smoking. And interestingly, if, if, if anyone wants to smoke, that's your business, but you have absolutely no right to smoke in front of any other human being or if anyone's going to be exposed to that later on. So there's passive smoking, which is clearly smoking in front of someone else. But then there's tertiary smoking. Now, what is tertiary smoking? Tertiary smoking is when you walk into a room when someone has been smoking and you smell it on the furniture or you smell it on their clothes. And in fact, the reaction between the cigarette smoke and the chemicals on the clothes and the chemicals on the furniture cause toxic chemicals that are almost as bad as you standing there sniffing the smoke as well. So smoking yourself is ridiculous. Passive smoking is, is a form of physical abuse. Smoking for children is, of course, a form of child abuse. But tertiary smoking is probably just as bad. So that's the checkup. I'll talk to you next week.